All right, so in the last tutorial, I showed you how to make an almost physically accurate atmosphere. Um, kind of like that. We just need to work on the planet surface. So hide the, actually, um, there's one thing that I um, got wrong in the last tutorial and the, the grid I thought was the atmosphere, but it is not. If you select the atmosphere now and go into edit mode, F3, the function three key on your keyboard and unsubdivide. You can keep it like that, but and then just hide your atmosphere. And then for your surface, uh, subdivide it once more, or maybe it, again, maybe it's divide it or subdivide it two times if you want. You can do that, and it should get rid of the uh, grids and the uh, atmosphere. And um, here, if I zoom into this a little bit, it's a pretty good looking atmosphere. Yeah. Okay, so hide the atmosphere and go to your shading tab. Okay, and call this, um, oops, that's not how you spell that. Call this uh, the surface. Okay, and once you have that ready, delete the principled BSDF and replace it with a diffuse, or I guess we could just move it underneath here for now, because there's a few other things we're going to do. Um, okay. Grab a texture coordinate and control shift left click until it brings you down to object right here. And then drag off of the object. If you're in, like, I think it's 3.4.1 and 3.5 have this feature where you can just drag off and it'll do this for you. Um, but you want a Musgrave texture coming off of here. And set this to ridged multifractal or rid, 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 yeah, sounds about right. Set the detail to 15, dimension to 0.3, or you could do point, point 0.15 uh, with a gain of 250, 300, and you can see what that looks like. Okay, and then grab a mix, mix color, mix the object and the Musgrave together, uh, half and half, so it gives you that. Oh, and then you want to duplicate this Musgrave as well. Uh, here we'll preview these two. So you want six for this one. Uh, actually, here, for this one, set your dimension to 0.3, and for this one, set it to um, 0.15. Um, okay, and then grab another Musgrave texture and put the mix result into the vector. And then change the scale to about 5, with a dimension of about 0.25. 2.5 looks pretty good okay grab another mix and switch it to a darken uh, which is well you could just click D when you click in this box and it'll switch it to darken and you want to put that there set it to a factor of 1 and plug this Musgrave into there um, and grab another darken node Set the factor to about 0.95. One doesn't really look great for this one. And then off of this, you want a math power node. And plug that in there with an exponent of about 1.5. Uh, 
and you can plug your diffuse BSDF into that. And there's the start of our planet, so if I unhide the atmosphere as well, you can kind of see how that's coming along. Uh, along, sorry. Yeah, let's zoom into the planet a little bit. Yeah, you can see how it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Okay. Um, hide your atmosphere. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Oh, dear. Okay, hide the atmosphere. There we go. And um, for your diffuse BSDF, grab a bump, put the normal into the normal, and plug this into the height. And then plug that into the roughness as well. Okay. And then over here, or sorry, over here, let's just put one of these here so it's easier. Okay, grab a color ramp and you want one here set to 0.25, one here set to 0.5, and 0.75. Set this one to a dark blue or even like a kind of a light reddish brown could look interesting and for this one set it to a very desaturated blue set this one a little bit more saturated and brighter and so on leave the last one white that's a bit too much bring down the saturation of these a little bit until you get something that that you like. It doesn't have to look like this, but just until you get something that you like. And you can play around with these, set it to ease maybe, or cardinal. Yeah, cardinal is interesting, or constant is kind of neat. B-spline. I like uh, ease the best. And then we can see all of the detail um, when it's hit by the light because of the bump node. It looks like it's got depth, but it doesn't because for detail that small, for for us to have proper depth like that, that would require a lot of geometry, and I mean, you, your computer might be able to handle that, but I cannot. Um, that actually pretty much wraps up the second part of this tutorial. This, ah, uh, this is just the, um, surface planet shader uh, you can organize these into a node group even if you want so you can um i don't exactly remember how i think uh i think you use like a mix rgb um to be able to control um colors on a color ramp because you can't just directly plug that into a node group input but you can set it up so you can change the colors through a node group. And um, here, let's see what this looks like with our atmosphere. Let that do its thing for a second. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's English. We now have um, an atmosphere and a pretty good surface material for our planet. Um, and here, if we go somewhere over here, we can yeah, 
Okay, that wraps up this tutorial. Bye.